Greetings, divine co-creators of the new earth, co-creators of the Legion of 144, rising up, waking up, manifesting our true heart's desires through the I Am Presence that's here now. Happy new moon in Aquarius. Today is a powerful day with the stellium in Aquarius. The Aquarian energy is the age of Aquarius, the golden age, fully activated, fully anchored in into the new earth energies. We are on day 45 of anchoring in the new earth energies as we transition through the fourth density into 5D and beyond, bringing in our 12D lineages through our sacred vessel as world bridgers, the rainbow bridge fully open, fully activated. So many higher dimensional energies flowing in now as we activate the I am presence of the resurrection and of the pure life of the Christos conscious, crystalline beings of light, of homo luminous, light beings of the new Eden. We activate and awaken the Elohim codes within our DNA, the 12 strand of the 12 codes creating the 144. And in the I am presence of pure awareness, we call upon on our angelic teams, we call upon Saint Germain of the Violet Flame to blaze this realm, to blaze our vessel, and all the beings that we are in contact are connected to all beings in all realms and all timelines, dimensions here now. If you are on our Patreon page, we uploaded day three of the discourses of the 33. So join us on that journey. And you can find these on our community page on YouTube. And if you're new to our Patreon, we archive all our teachings and extra trainings. Now these are extra gifts for those that support us on Patreon that are making it possible for us to do our daily work and to bring these transmissions. And then in the future, we're inching our way day by day. We're about just beyond halfway to what we need for our daily living expenses. And then beyond that, we will start manifesting our first healing center, which today came in to convert the name to spiritual centers. And I want you all to know there's a reason why I do everything I do and a reason why I say everything I say. And it is multidimensional. It's for a higher purpose. So hang in there. Follow along. Let go of any concepts. The truth is beyond all words, all dimensions, all concepts. So we are using our abilities of conscious co-creators with the power of the I Am Presence. And three days ago, we started the journey with our angelic team on Patreon. If you follow this journey of 33 days of these transmissions on Patreon, it will transform your life if you take to action and use the power of these discourses of these mantras such as I am the resurrection and the life that I transmitted yesterday you will notice a powerful transformation in your life and as you do share these experiences in the comments below on our patreon page share them with the world this is how we will manifest heaven on earth when all beings are activated in their Christ consciousness their cosmic consciousness Buddha consciousness all these words, names, and concepts are different fingers pointing to the same moon and the moon symbolizing symbolically, synchronistically, enlightenment or your true nature or God, source, infinitely expanding creator source, whatever name you want to give to the great mystery. Every transmission I put out are different fingers pointing to that same moon. Some of you get it, some are following along, and ultimately you will all understand in time walking this sacred path and keep following the journey within. The kingdom of heaven is within you and you activate it, you realize your true nature with the I am presence that's here now and the mantras such as I am the way, the truth, and the life are just simple guides to your God nature, your source within yourself through the activation connection of the Holy Spirit to guide you into the kingdom of heaven within that sacred temple, the still white magnetic light at the center of your being, of your presence that is fully activated 
and always emanating the God action, God in action of the I am. And through these trainings and discourses, are a navigating tool to usher in the golden age, the eternal bliss consciousness of the new earth. So thank you all for joining me on this journey. And you can sign up, make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure and join us in this 33 days of transformation, upgrades, activations, and the enlightenment of realizing your true nature, your Buddha consciousness, what we call pure awareness. Today we received an activation on the Schumann Resonance showing as a white blast of light in many layers, many codes, many signs with the power of 21 symbolizing, synchronizing with the three, the Trinity, the Father, Mother, Child, Son, Daughter, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Future Spirit, also symbolizing the three Dantians and also past, present, and future. Over the last 24 hours, we had 136 M1.5 or greater earthquakes, activations on Pachamama, another synchronistic code. In the past seven days, the last seven holy days, we had 1,144 earthquakes, M1.5 or greater. So we have the 11 and the 144 encoded within these activations in the last week as we're anchoring in the highest codes. And again today, most of the day, these activations on Loyalty Islands, southeast of Loyalty Islands, again, right on the Tropic of Capricorn, one activation after another, five, five, multiple five, fives, five, two, five, seven, two more, five, oh, ten, ten portals, five, six, four, seven, four, nine, all day these activations have been coming in one after another, like the pulsing of the universe, the breath of spirit, the expansion and compression of all things, of all life. We call the one law, which is the pulse of the universe. It is the pulse of your heart and the pulse of Pachamama and all living things. And with these pulsing energies coming in through the portal by the loyalty islands, the land of the loyal, the royal lion, the ring of fire totally lit up. We had multiple activations flowing through the Tropic of Cancer on the ring of fire in the west, the west of the Pacific with the Philippines, 4-9, the 13 divine goddess, 4-2, then in Japan, 4-9, another 13 code, then a 4-2 in Japan, also down in Indonesia, south of the equator, we had a 4.5, the Council of Nine at 5.05 UTC, 111.211 longitude, 9.274 latitude. And then we had this special activation today in the holy land of Turkey by the Black Sea in the beautiful mountain range of Kudze, Anadolu, Daglari, with a 4.6337 UTC, 33.37, into the 73 heaven on earth. And this was at latitude 41.411, longitude 33.526, so we have the 33, 33 of the 66, of the 12, of the Trinity, 41, 41 of the 5, 5, that's fifth dimensional energy in the physical and non-physical coming together in the sacred portal. The whole ring of fire lit up today, the queen rising, the goddess, divine feminine, the Magdalene, the Lemurian energy, the sacred condor flies high and free with all the power and glory of the eternal life in the eternal light of the I am presence here now. We begin again today with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon at 29 degrees, 30 minutes Aquarius. The sun at 23 degrees, 46 minutes Aquarius. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 24 degrees Aquarius. A man turning his back on his passions 
teaches deep wisdom from his experience. And today, the current Sabian symbol for the moon at zero degrees Aquarius, moonlit fields, once Babylon, are blooming white. From astrologyweekly.com, today from Divine Bro Star of the Light Powers, Kute, the new energy is already here. The old is just making a lot of noise dying. Our biology is shifting. It has to absorb and work with and be part of the new, softer energy. If it's going to do that, there has to be a recalibration of the core or the center of the energy. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusul, Souls who are currently incarnated on this planet, whether starseeds, wanderers, ancient ones, indigos, crystal, rainbow, or the new sun children, all knew what would happen at this time. We all knew that the old earth would cease to exist and knew that we would be asked to bring the new golden age into form and being on the newly created and born new earth. Many of the soul groups who were involved with this planet from the very beginning now wish to complete their involvement with planet earth. This means that those souls belonging to these soul groups, as is confirmed time and again in my soul readings, incarnated to finally work through negative patterns created with other souls during previous lifetimes, and thus will be especially challenged now to finally forgive, to let go, and heal in the deepest sense and thus set themselves free in other souls. Many of these belong to soul groups like the illumined ones, the shining ones, the graces, the loving ones, etc. Many of the souls belong to the ancient ones, souls who made a vow to not leave planet Earth until the time as she and humanity have returned to the state of the first paradise on Earth, Elysium, most of these ancient ones reside in inaccessible places on earth, in much higher dimensional form, and inside the earth in Agartha. Many of these souls, now incarnated on the surface of the earth, are literally holding the ancient keys and codes, steady for humankind so that they can reassess these in the new golden age, when they truly step into their mastery, unity, and oneness, and embrace their divinity within. There are so many new souls who have incarnated with the Rainbow Children, who have incarnated since 1994, followed from the 2012 onwards by the Sun Children and now the Platinum Sun Children. These souls carry within them the new earth creation and indeed are the new earth. However, many allowed themselves to be shut down and got lost along the way, but will now awaken in the highest degrees and indeed will blossom into their mastery with great love. I am sharing this for indeed such mass awakening of souls will now occur, and indeed waves upon waves, and it is essential that we, who have gone through the process already, stand as vast beacons of light, love, and encouragement to these newly awakened souls and assist their journey, yet always understanding that although we may be awakened, that we stay humble and focused on the path and walk with purity, authenticity, purity of intent, and with unconditional love. There is no place for ego and leadership now. It is never about us. It is about the greater divine plan unfolding and the greater divine will and purpose. We are but instruments played by divine hands. From JudithKusul.com Today from Divine Sister of the Light Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh Happy Aquarius New Moon While the energies with the 212 flip day tomorrow on the Chinese New Year of the Metal Ox Finally, we are leaving the year of the rat. All praises to the Most High. So over it. Thank God we're done. All Holy Grail unions are being cleansed and purified in the blood of Christ today. The spells that induce the sins of the Homo Erectus are being removed from the collective. This is our soul's rebirth and soul's calling to come home. Your sins are being washed away in the house of the Lord. Blood purification on all levels and timelines is occurring collectively. The sins of your ancestors are being purified for your new oaths with the kingdom of God, the Most High, Prime Source Creator. The Divine Feminine Christ's mission to free the Adam bloodline is complete. Thank you, brothers and sisters in Christ, who fought the battle to free us from the Jezebel and Jesuit persecution against humanity. Mission complete. Your pilgrimage home has begun. What awaits you now is pleasure the Divine Feminine Christ, and now being put first collectively, 
the minds and brainwashing spells of illusions that kept humanity a slave through fears and lies have broken humanity now feels the holy spirit she has freed their mind from mental slavery they want more and desire the nourishment of the divine mother shekinah the christ as an embodiment of the divine feminine christ and the sisterhood of the rose you are being called to step up into new leadership position of this holy mother template shekinah the christ the divine masculines are being called to step up as christ's bridegrooms as lion of judah kings as well these are the new role models that society needs wants and are co-creating and attracting here and now a new earth lack is over poverty consciousness is over release the old through the blood of jesus christ the 888 tone that is restoring your temple back into full harmonic balance and unity healthy healed and whole peace love we unity tribe soul family and holy grail unions is the new way from carolyn kundalini twin flames today from sparks of divine light healing tonight's aquarius new moon is bringing quite the energy with it you probably won't see this moon it most likely will be invisible you will feel it though this moon is now joining the sun jupiter mercury venus and saturn in aquarius that makes this aquarius season a little extra with six planets in aquarius this alignment is an aquarius stellium that makes this new moon extra powerful venus and jupiter are shining on areas of love and luck mercury is still retrograde until the 20th that means if you're in a relationship to be gentle you're clearing a lot the energies are going up in frequency and this new moon is helping us to clear the energies of the past it's helping us to come into divine alignment it's a great time to be getting creative this energy is about projects it's a great time to get inspired or to be thinking of new ideas it's also a great time to get ahead on that spring cleaning or to declutter are there ways you can bring some new energies into your space we also have meteors and asteroids flying by this week that means it's the perfect time to be making a wish upon a shooting star this is adding to the magical vibes it's a time to manifest and set intentions many of you are noticing that we are making big shifts right now be very positive with the seeds you're planting during this time and expect miracles they are on the way sparks of divine light healing dot com and don't forget beloved beings of light day by day in every way i am getting better and better at anything that i focus my awareness my energy my chi my love my light as we master this divine art of life this symphony this orchestra the music of the spheres activating in every cell every atom activating our 12 strand crystalline dna here now today from divine sister of the light laura pleiadian new moon february 11th 2021 a love like that auspicious doesn't even cover it on february 11 2021 we have venus conjunct jupiter just hours before the 305 p.m ast new moon in aquarius new moons are always new beginnings even with mercury retrograde and this one is super packed with out of this world frequencies which depending on your own frequency may just catapult you to the higher realms of love and beauty venus exulted in this beauty and love and increased with jupiter they love to come together the venus conjunct jupiter is also supercharged by mars sextile neptune potentially soaring into the high heavens with love on the table and passion to boot the continued saturn square uranus is still a continued challenging impact during this new moon overshadowed mostly through the beatific aspects that this new moon is supercharged with this is great for relationships which includes of course the relationship you have with yourself personal improvement through being more authentic true to yourself is also a shift that may take place through you these frequencies impact each person uniquely these frequencies will impact energies until march 13 2021 the next new moon cycle stay tuned for updates and of course more of the starlight activations in the magic of a love like that we bless you in love from the new divine humanity dot com from the order of the star 
Jupiter will kiss Venus today. On February 11, Jupiter and Venus conjunct. Venus and Jupiter are one of the two brightest planets in the sky. Their celestial alignments light up the heavens. Jupiter-Venus love triangle is a dynamic interplay between the forces of power and passion. Passion and power are the two primal principles that move men and women on this planet. Actually, passion and power move the gods themselves. As the myth goes, the king of the gods, Zeus in Greek, or Jupiter in ancient Roman culture, married Hera in Greek, or Venus in ancient Roman culture. Zeus is traditionally represented by planet Jupiter, which carries astral forces and qualities that to some extent embody the Zeus force, while Hera, traditionally represented by Venus, which carries the force of love, the myth of the gods provides us with an archetype of Hera, Venus, Zeus, power triangle with its energies forever oscillating between stability, power, passion, and love. It is said that the honeymoon period of any relationship is often said to be brief. However, for Hera and Zeus, it lasted for a shocking 300 years. They spent it on the Greek island of Samos. Many Greeks used this myth in order to talk about the Earth's fertility or the enduring power of marital love. Venus conjunct Jupiter, natal mirrors what this alignment looks like in the sky, beautiful and adorable. When the two best-looking planets come together, they are the most attractive and popular of sights. Your popularity comes not only from your physical attractiveness, but also your genuinely warm and friendly nature. Your presence encourages others to display the same warmth and affection that you naturally exude. Venus conjunct Jupiter transit portends love and money, harmony and happiness. You do not have to strive, struggle, or work hard. This is a time to enjoy the benefits of the good karma accrued from your previous good deeds and hard work. Beautiful things are attracted to you. It is your inner harmony, warmth, and friendliness that is so attractive. Ideally, this time should be spent out and about, engaging with as many people as possible. In this way, you will expose yourself to the greatest number of opportunities for growth and happiness. Relationships of all kinds are a major focus on this conjunction. Your increased physical and inner beauty makes you more popular in social settings. In one-to-one -one situations, you should notice more interest, especially from your partner or potential partners. This is one of the best transits for falling in love. It is more likely now that any new romance will turn out to be the perfect match. Love is in the air. From Isis Channelings, a twin gateway of birth and death. New Moon, February 11. Our human existence is weaved into an intricate tapestry, riding the crests and troughs of concurrent mega and mini cycles, continuously converging and expanding. And one such interesting congruence of two significant cycles takes place now at Aquarius, New Moon, 11th of February. On one hand, we have an annual cycle of lunar in bulk, bringing in the energies of renewal and rebirth of Gaia, us, Divine Feminine, in bulk gateway, February 1st, calendar in bulk, February 11th, lunar in bulk. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have the very leading and prophetic mega cycle of Venus, Inanna cycle entering into its phase of ego death and embracing its shadow aspects a gateway of birth and death, simultaneously the endless journey of the soul, continuously dying to false and outdated perceptions in order to uncover, rebirth our divine awareness and consciousness. And so on this new moon, the goddess who retreated into the cave, the womb of Mother Earth, to rest, replenish, renew after the birthing of the sun, God aspect on Yule, winter solstice is now recharged and infused with new life force energy new insights and womb wisdom, and ready to re-emerge from the womb cave, while patriarchy very wrongly named this 40-day period of cave and post-birth as purification period. Still a very prevalent custom in many parts of India, birth is not impure. Birth is sacred alchemy in motion. It is a time when the divine feminine mother aspect, midwifed by the wise crone, communes between the realms of death, her own goddess, and birth God as she manifests spirit into matter. She is held safely in the steady and strong arms of the midwife crone, all the time initiated into new insights and wisdom courtesy of the crone, and now on the lunar in bulk, new moon in Aquarius, 
and divine feminine is ready to be midwifed into a brand new vessel of creative life force energy, the maiden aspect, full of life, youth, beauty, enthusiasm, exuberance, willfulness, fearlessness, and a special brand of intoxicating wildness, yet seeped in the deep wisdom of the crone, for she carries within her rich new and deep insights, wisdom, tools, and gifts gained during her cave-in period, that which will not only sustain her, Gaia, but all of creation under the guardianship of the embulk triple goddess Brigid. Brigid is the keeper of the eternal flame which nourishes the triple flame of our physical body, Kundalini life force, our energetic body and spiritual soul, spirit heralding a new cycle of renewal, birth, and creative energy. This new moon serves as another upward spiral in the new age of Aquarius. They commenced in earnest with the birth of the new sun on winter solstice, December 21st, 22nd, 2021. Just like the tiny green shoots are determinedly breaking through the surface now against all odds, it's time for you to flex the new muscles of wisdom, knowings, insights, tools, and gifts you gained during your dive into the mother's womb cave. It's time for the creative juices to flow. Be light and light in grace isischannelings.wordpress.com Today from the Shamanic Astrology Mystery School by Levi Banner The new moon in Aquarius today at 2.05 p.m. Eastern Time represents this very new feel for the month and for the year. February is Aquarius month. 2021 is Aquarius year. This starts us off with that visionary collective consciousness, freedom rising type of energy right now. Aquarius is the rebellious, revolutionary energy of now, futuristic in nature. It's time, as always, at a new moon to set your intentions. If you include your visions of the future, your most expanded view, and your most rebellious and radical self, then you are more in alignment with the packed cluster of Aquarian energy at this specific new moon. It's time to download your future self now. Always available, your future self is the one calling you forward. The you in the future can be right now in this moment. There's no need to wait. Step forward. We are moving forward. Today from K. Lin K. Castell. Happy Aquarius New Moon and Chinese New Year exact February 11, 12, depending on your time zone beginning the Chinese Year of the Ox. February 11 also features the exact Jupiter-Venus conjunction at 12 Aquarius with the heart star of the goat expanding revolutionary ideals as the divine feminine enters the underworld phase of her current journey that lasts until may 2021 the evening star phase of her journey when she rises up into the strength and wisdom of who she truly is begins may 3rd join a powerfully magical ceremony journey as we creatively begin telling new stories and accessing creative messages that support co-creation of a new more playful and fun of living from venusalchemy.com today from divine sister of the light sarah hayes new moon in aquarius the most enlightened new moon of 2021 aquarius party of a lifetime the beauty of interdependence plus originality on february 11th the moon which represents our feelings intuition gut instinct becomes new at 23 degrees of aquarius the days before a new moon tend to be tense and bring in uneasy feelings, as there is no light from La Luna to guide us. Being that the moon rules the ocean and tides, and we as humans are over 70% water, we instinctually crave the moon's guidance and assurance. Hence the important factor of receiving such light and source of wisdom. New moons herald fresh starts, beginnings, and the slate being wiped clean. Aquarius, the 11th zodiac sign, is represented as the innovator, the genius, the detached visionary, and someone who craves equality and love for humanity. The new moon in Aquarius is here to shine a light towards our highest self and the essence of our sovereignty and free will. At the time of the new moon in Aquarius, we will have five other planets, celestial bodies, and the sign of Aquarius, including the Sun, Mercury, in retrograde motion, Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn, this is unprecedented and has only occurred one other time in recent history. That time was February 1962. 
when there were rumblings of the beginning of the hippie revolution and innovations within society. At that time, in 1962, here in the U.S., John Glenn became the first person to orbit outside of the Earth's atmosphere. It was literally the first time that we received a glimpse of what life was like beyond our Earth's orbital sphere. Similar themes around going where no man or woman has ever gone will be echoed again for this alignment. I expect some very radical and life-changing inventions and technologies to either be invented or introduced because of the result of this extraordinary planetary alignment within the genius barring sign of Aquarius. The new moon in Aquarius wants us to set our sights on something bigger and think beyond the limits that society or our own upbringing has provided. This is an excellent time to create that dream project, career or life mission that lights us up and then inspires us to go where we have never dreamed possible. The key, though, will be to make sure we drop down to our hearts and stay grounded within its warmth and light. With so many planets in Aquarius, we need to look to the opposite sign of Leo to balance out the scales, so to speak. I say this all the time, but elemental balance is very important. Whenever we have a predominance of one type of element in the sky, in this case it is air, which is Aquarius's ruling element, it is best to balance it out with the opposing sign's brilliance. Leo is Aquarius's opposite, and unlike the very mental and cerebral Aquarius energy, Leo rules the heart and the understanding of the healthy ego and sense of self. This integration between both signs will be crucial and allow us to get stuck inside our head, Aquarius, but remain inspired and lit up by our heart's guidance, Leo. The opposing signs complement each other so beautifully, and this is one example of their masterful blend of co-creation. Another amazing thing about the new moon in Aquarius will be an incredible and fortunate aspect between Venus and Jupiter, who of course are also in the sign of Aquarius. Venus represents love, beauty, money, and pleasure. Jupiter represents luck, abundance, wisdom, and expansion. Venus conjunct Jupiter in Aquarius is a love balm aspect of fortune and blessings. When the two benefics come together to greet one another, the angels sing a song of delight and excitement. This aspect is a wonderful boost to our moral and sense of beauty and wonder. I would make an extra wish your intention at this new moon to honor Venus and Jupiter's meetup. Again, this is a great support to the new moon, and this aspect will align us to reach for our highest ideals and visions. If you happen to have any planets between 7 and 15 degrees of the air signs, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or fire signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, then this aspect will beam a light of unlimited possibility and positivity to those planets. A window of light and opportunity will grace us all. Even if you don't have any planets within those signs, degrees, financial and philosophical pursuits will be favored and encouraged by the planetary gods at this time. The new moon in Aquarius is here to bring forth your love for one another and love for the world. This, of course, begins with the love of the self. You cannot truly honor or love someone else until you find that inner spark within. This moon wants you to believe in yourself and at the same time to hold space and unconditional love for your fellow man and woman. No other sign stands for world peace like a faithful Aquarius soul. With all the changes and unprecedented events of the last year or so, we might feel over the top. The interesting thing is that through our isolation from one another, we have actually begun to step into the understanding that we are in fact more alike than not. This awareness has prompted us to hold a new space of compassion and understanding for each other. At least that is what the beginning of this Aquarian age is here to teach us. It isn't easy, but nothing that lasts and it has substance and brilliance ever is. The new moon in Aquarius wants you to find your own accountability, but also extend your hand and heart to your fellow man, woman. She is here to bring a breakthrough in consciousness around our ideals and connections with one another, an intellectual breakthrough of our genius powers, and the realization that I am you and you are me. We are one and all we have is each other. From astromama.com Today from Divine Sister of the Light Leah White Horse, Lua Astrology, New Moon in Aquarius, Venus conjunct Jupiter in Aquarius, with a huge gathering in Aquarius, the cosmos yells, the future is now. Yesterday's Mercury-Mars square is intertwined with the lunation fueling our impetus 
towards change. However, as Mercury is retrograde, we may have to accept that we must go backwards to go forwards. It's perfectly paradoxical. It's weird, wired, Aquarius. Don't fret if you feel like you're moving further away from where you want to be. Consider that the universe is offering you a wider lens to perceive the big picture. From this different angle, it's easier to analyze the data and compute new solutions to problems that baffled in the past. Step back. The trick is to see the patterns at work in your life. History repeats, but each repetition contains a tiny deviation, a new offshoot, a tendril of exploration into the unknown. Think, what can I do differently this time? Different results require different actions. Something beautiful develops when you dare to break the pattern. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 5-9, Blue Resonant Storm. The number seven is called Resonant, and its key words are channel, inspire, and attune. The seventh day is all about using your intuition to guide you further on your mission. This wave spell of the Red Skywalker is all about adventures and getting out of your comfort zone. Well, today you can resonate more with this energy if you tune in. Be prepared to receive messages via dreams or happenstance. Don't disregard their significance. They may be vital clues. Today is Blue Storm and its keywords are catalyze, energy, and self-generation. Stormy days blow in the changes and can be quite disruptive. Sometimes that's what it takes to move forward, so don't hesitate or resist. Harness this intense energy and make big changes in your life. As it is a resonant day, using your intuition will help you understand what changes to make. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina, Papa Giorgio. Blue Resonant Storm, Kin 59, 11 February 2021. Attuning to Transformation. 11 2 2 0 2 1 equal 2 2 2 2 1 equal 2 2 5 equal 2 7 equal 9 11 portal gate polarity 2 twins pairs cooperation 22 architect of peace master builder 1 new beginnings leader original 5 liberation change transformation freedom 9 destiny service humanity compassion grace Kin 5, 9, equal 14, equal 5, liberation. A very powerful, magical portal day is on its way, seeking to liberate our planet. The storm is here. Viva la revolution. Day 7 in the Red Skywalker, wave spell of awakening to our true selves through exploration and expansion. Today we are clearing out all the emotional debris to create more space for the light to enter. Tone of creation, resonant tone 7 in the emotional realm, action inspires, power channel, essence attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the cleansing and transformational potentials today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel the magical forces. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body, so it is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm. At Tone 7, our vibrating phenomena learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment that is available to us all, Number seven is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, giving us double the magic today with the seven universal month code, also strengthening the five liberation codes. What are you attuned to today? What type of life are you generating to liberate and express your true self? Today's question is what emotional debris can I magically transform in order to attune to higher forces and create space for more light? Divine blessings for the cathartic cleansing today. May the storm bless our planet with multidimensional rainbows. And la kek a la kin. Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger. Kin 66. Kin 59, Blue Resonant Storm. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to catalyze. Inspiring energy, I seal the matrix of self-generation. 
with the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of magic. And on this powerful and magical day, beloved beings of light, let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future uploads. And as always, we have a link in the description below the video on the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for your financial support on Patreon with your pledges and your donations on PayPal. These donations are what will keep us to be able to transmit these daily transmissions to the world and to continue our work. And we have transitioned just beyond halfway to what we need for our daily living expenses to be able to continue our work. So we're accelerating this timeline in different ways and bringing many great things to all of you through Patreon. We're doing a 33 day of discourse. These are transmissions of the I Am Presence of St. Germain to transform your life in extreme positive and healthy healing ways of abundance. So check that out on Patreon. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light Jewels for your pledge and support on Patreon. We'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Amy L. Brown for your pledge and support. We'd like to thank and welcome Divine Sister of the Light Michelle for your pledge and support. We'd also like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Danielle Banush for your pledge and support. We'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Harriet Gordon for your pledge and support. So if you're on our Patreon page, again, we post a link to our extra gifts, our trainings, our transmissions on our community page on YouTube. You can scroll down in the feed on Patreon and go through and do our trainings. We started a couple days ago with these 33 days of discourses of the I Am Presence. So check that out there too. And if you'd like to support our work and mission, make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. Thank you all for your support, your pledges, and for shining your light brightly. And also we have a link in the description if you'd like to make a one-time donation to our PayPal account. Sharing is caring, beloveds. So also like to take the time to thank all of you supporting my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful, handmade, one-of-a-kind goddess totems on lunagoddessart.com. She added a couple new goddesses, two of these new ones. Asiona and Akana have spent the last day and 48 hours on my sacred altar. So these are receiving some extra codes. All of these are made with the loving care and come with the divine abundance, the di divine union codes and code within the energy. So again, lunagoddessart.com for my queen's beautiful goddess art. I'd like to end today's transmissions from a special transmission from Divine Sister like Karen Lithica with the elementals. We are the sprites, the undines, the dwellers of light, a living dance in the higher realms to assist all beings in light creation. See us in the sprigs of new growth, the delicate rain droplet shining on a leaf. For these moments of higher light vibrations is a window to us, for they contain the purity of creation, a connection to us, a doorway to the higher realms, elemental exercise. Simply sit in nature, close your eyes and smile, Connect to your heart and feel love. When it feels right, open your eyes. Observe your surroundings. Observe the light. Look for a twinkle, a unique leaf, a smile in nature, the magic of life. For we are with you, immersed in the light. Simply open your heart to us, our light creation. Open to the magic of life. You will find us, the nature elementals. From KarenLithica.com so thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. 
Step into the power and the majesty of the I Am Presence and transmit your violet flame, your violet ray from your heart center to heal, bring all into balance, every cell in your body, every star in your vessel, your sacred holographic field of infinite light, infinite dimensions, eternal life, eternal light. I am the way, the life, and the truth here now in this vessel transmitting to the world to all consciousness that the I am presence is here now hearing these words and feeling these energies of God in action. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.